What's up, guys? It's Mike. It's Sam. It's he. Um, there's a lot of bad situations that happen around the world, and, and I feel like today we talk a lot about relationships. I mean, I think every story we have today is about relationships. Yeah. yeah. This is probably the saddest one we got to cover today. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is, it's very heartbreaking, and I, it kind of makes you a little mad of what this man and his daughter had to go through in India. Yeah. A man's wife died, and she was only 42, so she died young. She died of tuberculosis. Yeah. So, not only did somebody die, if that's hard enough, but... There's no ambulance to pick. No, nobody can transport the body for him. Well, she died in the, the hospital. hospital. Yeah, and then the, he's saying the hospital would not provide an ambulance right. to transport the body back home for last rites. Right, which is the, the home is around like fifty, 50 miles, miles, miles away. away. So what? So he did the only thing he could do. He said he couldn't afford anything because he's a poor man. Yeah, he just wrapped her body in the sheets and carried her. Oh, with his daughter next to him. His daughter gosh. next to him. So, like. He just that like think about that for a second. Like your wife just died, you have a kid, everyone's sad, and then you're like, oh, I guess I gotta carry her home. Like, oh my gosh! Luckily, he didn't go 50 miles. Like he made it seven miles. Like local people noticed that. Yeah. Obviously, there's this guy carrying a body on his shoulder, so they yeah. they go up, they're curious, and he kind of told them the story. Right. They called everybody, and finally, they sent an ambulance over, but by then he had already walked seven miles. Se seven miles? Seven miles, I mean, if you guys ever walked seven miles with nothing yeah. in your hands, yeah. that's still a long walk. It's a long right? walk, for sure, dude. Really that's that's 10K, that's, that's 10 kilometers. And you have somebody, you know, and it's your deceased wife. Yeah, so there's emotions involved. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's anger because the hospital is not giving you any help. But right. then they interviewed the hospital who said, no, 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 he was, he was wrong. We were, we had something available for him. But why didn't he take it? So I'm, I'm really sitting here not really believing what the hospital That's what I'm saying. Now. I don't believe Because why would he take he wouldn't just. He's like, hey, no, no, thanks. I'm gonna carry her. Really? Yeah. Would this guy voluntarily do that? Yeah. I doubt it. Whenever there's media attention on something negative, yeah. of course the party that's being accused is gonna be like, no, like you know, they're yeah. gonna be like afterwards, they're like, oh, we never did that. But the fact is, this poor man had to carry his dead wife on his shoulder for seven miles. And if it weren't for all the attention, they probably would have let him walk all yeah. back all the way. Oh, dude. Can you imagine? 50 miles is literally, you, you can't, that's days. You can't that's a days walk that in a trip. day. Yeah. I mean, he would have to hitchhike. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, how, I mean, couldn't, I mean, how do you get home? Most people probably wouldn't pick up a body. No. No. Correct. So, so he would literally have to walk it. So 50 miles will take him probably three days. And but and he's with his daughter, teenage daughter. So what are you, get, are you gonna sleep on the side of the road for three days? Just walking, think about it. You just walking 50 miles with nothing takes yeah. you like at least two days. Oh yeah, no, two full days. Yeah. I mean, obviously the situation is not good. No. And uh, I mean, people shouldn't have to feel like that's the norm where they have to suffer where a man has to feel like, okay, I may, I can't afford anything so I gotta do this. I mean, literally what he's right. trying to do here is it's the first time I've ever heard about this in my life. Yeah. And I mean, this doesn't happen. No. So, I mean, the man just lost his wife. Yeah. Show some compassion. Like the lack of compassion also in this story is like, I mean, I get it. You're a hospital. You're like, you see people die all the time. Maybe you're desensitized by right. it. But come on. Right. Put yourselves in someone else's shoes for like a moment. So I'm glad somebody did, you know, do something. Yeah. And he was able to get his wife home and, and I'm sorry for his loss, obviously. But at least, at least somebody yeah. showed up. This gives me a little faith because at least the people who saw him, hey, they felt exactly. for him. You know, the people there definitely care. You know, yeah. it's just I'm, I'm really disappointed in those hospital officials. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the saddest story what we had to do today. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Later. Later.